I'm going to go over all the parts you're going to see in this video that we use for installation. We have our gutter adapter to corrugated pipe. It's also a leaf filter and it's a vented clean out. You'll see the men cut this riser to fit and this is not quite a 90. It already has the slope figured in so the line's going to be on the perfect slope to the catch basin. The catch basin in this install is not set on the shallow notch. You see how there's another set of holes? That's so you can flip that offset and you can go deeper. Let me show you what I mean. See the difference? This line is shallow. When this line gets deeper, you flip it. So you set it to your height. We went under some sprinkler lines, had to go deep. Once we got to the city storm drain, we just went ahead with a three to four coupler and we went ahead and basically took our three inch plus to a piece of dual wall, which we went ahead and core drilled a city storm drain and use hydraulic concrete to put this in place. That's what you're gonna see in this video. We did a high quality installation with the very best materials. This is what we replaced, a failed roof runoff system. That was the cheap pipe at a big box store that had collapsed and split and it was causing washout at the foundation of the home. All the parts that we're using are virgin HDPE, no recycled materials, heavy duty, thick sidewall, heavy duty pipe. No cracking, no splitting. This system will last a lifetime. Everything snaps together quick and easy. Installation couldn't be easier. This is our third job of the day, and we did have a fourth stop, believe it or not. That's how quick our kits snap together. We have a very efficient crew. Always tape the pipe where it meets the coupler and where the coupler meets the catch basin. You want a watertight seal, use a really good plumbing tape. We use the three inch pipe so that we can go under and over all the sprinkler lines. A four inch pipe wouldn't have done that and we would have had to cut all those sprinkler lines. We took this underground buried downspout system to a city storm drain. We did have to core through the sidewall, this storm drain catch basin. You can rent a drill, a hammer drill, and a five inch diamond core bit, carbide core bit, that will go through concrete. This really isn't DIY friendly, and you might want to have a contractor do this corn tap for you. Taking this underground buried downspout to a pop-up emitter would definitely be more DIY friendly. This is a contractor grade installation, and we're just taking advantage of a city storm drain that happened to be right there in the front yard. Doesn't happen too often. We make a conscious effort to not use any PVC if we can. We're going to use a dual wall sleeve. It's HDPE. It's environmentally friendly. It's going to withstand all the freeze and thaw cycles that we see here in the north. Now make sure you use hydraulic concrete when you put the sleeve in. And you have to put the hydraulic concrete on the outside as well as the end. So that does mean you're getting down inside that city storm drain if you choose to do this. Now you know why pop-up emitters are so popular. They're more efficient. You don't need any equipment. They just snap together. This is definitely not as DIY friendly, and this is more contractor grade for sure. It's probably a skill level four or five versus a skill level one if you're just going to put in a pop-up emitter. The men just installed an underground buried downspout system that will last a lifetime. They put a leaf filter on it so that it will not clog. They put an inline catch basin on it so that all the shingle gravel will not build up in the line and cause failure. And they used hydraulic concrete when they went ahead and core and tapped the city storm drain. The three inch pipe was ideal for this installation because there was two valve boxes on the side of that porch. The only way we we're gonna get a line through there is if we used a three inch line. There's the two valve boxes that hold all the sprinkler valves. There's your sprinkler mains. Here's the solid cover to the inline catch basin. And right there is the storm drain that we took the underground buried downspout to. Nice, clean installation. Not too many components when you think about it. And they all snap together, have a really good fit. Very user-friendly. If you found any of this information helpful, 
Give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If there's a video you want me to make, leave it in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.